Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Gainer. Okay, what we're going to talk about today, Gainer, is the UK versus the USA. Now, how long have we lived in the UK for? Have a guess. What now? Over our entire life. Probably about 30 years. I'd guess about uh, seven plus, I'd say about 29 years. Yeah. Well, I've, yeah. I've, I'm older than 28, you. So. 28, 29 years we've lived. Yeah, you are. That's right. So it's, uh, I'd say 28, 29 years I've lived in the UK. Lived in the USA for 12 years, didn't we? Yeah. So got to experience both sides of the uh, the channel, the pond, mm -hmm. however you want to call yeah. it. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to do a series on this where we're going to discuss certain things that we're going to tell you what our difference, what our, what our opinions are and differences of what you get in the UK and what you get in the USA yeah. um, and what our favourites are. Yeah. Um, we're very pro, I know we're very pro-American because we, we loved it there. Yeah. Um, our growing up years. And we, we also love customer service yes. and that's what you get in, in, the, in the USA. Yeah. So we know we're going to be weighted one way to the other way in many things but the one particular thing I'm going to touch on as we go through the series which I know I'm going to be very heavily weighted for the UK side but we'll get to that as we go through first thing I want to touch on is restaurants okay we go out a lot yeah we eat out quite a lot um, probably sometimes too much yeah. two times a week yeah um, we try different restaurants different nationalities different cuisines yeah. uh, whenever we're never close to going down one route of a cuisine so yeah. I think what are your experiences of um, of restaurants. What's your first experience when you go into a restaurant? What springs to your mind about going into the UK versus when you went into one in the USA? Um, in the USA, as soon as you walk in, you're greeted. Correct. With a smile. Yep. Yep. And when you go in the UK, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're not greeted. You kind of like someone's. Like, oh, someone will be with you in a minute. And I'm like, why can't that be you? You're right there. Yeah. Right. And it bothers me straight away. I think I'm already is, on the I'm already on the anger. Yeah, defensive. I think where it, I think where it is as well is that they kind of see people come in and it's like that's not my job, that's your job. Yeah, that's Every, everybody definitely. has their like. I know. find that with the maitre d in the USA, when you went into a restaurant in the USA, there was always a maitre d. So there was always someone covering the door area. Yeah. Um, for for most of the nice restaurants, I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you can go in Denny's and the girl will get a pen out of the thing and just go, can I help you? Yeah. You know, I need shit, yeah. sort of thing. But I'm talking like higher end, yeah. higher end restaurants. Even the diners were always good. Yeah. You just sit down yourself, didn't you, most of the time. But when, when you went into a restaurant where you want, when you want seating, you go in, maitre d' meets you, greets you. And if there's no maitre d' there, if they're showing someone else to, to the table and a, and a waiter went past or a waitress or a, whatever you call them nowadays, servers, they go up and they'll say, Someone will be with you right in a, in a second. Can I help you? There'll be there'll be, there'll be interaction. Yeah, yeah, knowledge, yeah. There'll be interaction in the UK. If there's no one stood at the entrance or where where you go to see the major D, someone walks past, you might as well not be there because yeah. they are not acknowledging you. No, they don't. Very very rare if they do. I'd no. say maybe one in ten, mm. two in ten maybe. Yeah. Whereas I think in the USA you go in ten in ten. The, the difference is is. In the UK, you paid a salary and that's what you earn. I get that. In the US? Get, not nowadays, though, because they, they add the tips onto it. But we'll go, we'll go into tips in a bit. But what, what you've got as well is, once then you're sat down, let's say you've met the maitre d' yeah. and they take you to your table and sit you down. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, your server's going to be ba ba ba. they'll be over shortly. Yeah. Right? The maitre d' will turn around and walk off. Literally, in the USA, the server's right there over the shoulder. Hi, guys, my name's whatever. Um, I'm going to be your server today. Anything I can get you to drink to start off with, or anything you need. Yeah, well, right? menus. Menus as well. There's a menus. Anything I can get you to drink while you're looking through the menu. Yeah. And you normally, whenever you go in a restaurant, you know what you're going to drink. You know, you either want a beer, wine, water, soda, whatever you want. You know, you're not going to look at a menu. Even if it's just quick, I'll have a beer while I look through the cocktail menu. Yeah. yeah. Or I'll have a glass of wine while I look through the cocktail menu. In the UK, it's like someone will be with you shortly. And you sit down. And you wait. And you wait. And you wait, <laughs> and you go, excuse me, and they go, be right with you. And you go, you won't be right with me, because I've been waiting 10 minutes already. They know, and then they'll come over and they'll go, uh, can I get you water for the table? And you go, no, get, get us a menu, could have brought that over when you came, right? And then they'll come over, menus, and then they'll walk off again. And I'm like, I haven't had a chance to order a drink yet. The thing is, as well, I've noticed in the UK, they, they force bottled water on you. Mm. If you say, oh, I'll just have, you know, a jug of water. Tap water, you mean? Yeah, tap mm. water. Mm. They what, kind of pull the face. But what do you feel about, like, um, my, my thing is this, is it's not about getting a drink as soon as you walk in like an alcoholic would. My thing is I'm thinking of the owners. I'm thinking 
they've missed out maybe two or three drinks by the time the the, 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 the setting's gone. Yeah. Of not coming back when your drink's empty or not giving you a drink as soon as you walk in. And then there's times when you walk in, served and you know, I get your beer, yeah, there's two beers, boom. And then I'll come back in a minute for your order, you come back and then by the time you might be ready for another beer. Yeah. In the UK, by that time you've not even had one yet. Yeah. Sort of thing. So it's for me it's a service of getting value for money for the restaurant. Which I'm all about is yeah. let them earn as much as they can because that's what you're there to do. You're there to spend yeah. and enjoy yourself and have a good experience. Well, also the more the more food and drinks you have, the the more percentage is on the bill for Correct. a tip. Correct, for a tip. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So I think that in that way the Americans have definitely got it right. Yeah. Um, now, what about um, once you do order your food or the food menu comes? And this is one of the the thing. thing. I've got. I've, I've done if I've told this story before, but one of my favourite foods is chicken wings. Yeah. You know, where I'm talking now like casual food, finger food, not going yeah. to a fine dining, you know, shirt and side type event, yeah. just like a casual bar restaurant. I go in and we order, you know, a dozen wings. It yeah. will be like your, your average order, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sort of thing. Come up in a basket, nice basket of wings, loads of sauce on it, bunch of napkins, uh, everything that goes with it. Tray of celery. Yeah. Tub of blue cheese. Yeah. Tub of blue cheese about this big as well. Yeah. I came back to the Lake District. Right, and I went in and I said, "I've done buffalo." He said, "New craze from the USA, buffalo wings." I was like, "I'm all over that." But we were visiting from the USA yeah, at the time, yeah, weren't we? we? Were, yeah. And uh, brought them out, and it looked like it looked like they gave me three what someone had already eaten. Sparrows. <laughs> and I went, "What chicken's that from?" I said, "Look at the size of that." I said, "Then looks like someone already eaten them, didn't it?" Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, they were they were like there was no meat on them. And they were it was barbecue sauce as well, mm. and I don't like it barbecue. Wasn't buffalo. No. So it was like, for me, I was just like, hey, don't advertise it the way it is. Yeah. You know, even like, we went in a, a nice American restaurant a couple of weeks ago, and they said, new on the menu is a Philly cheesesteak. And what did they say? Mm, that's not a Philly cheesesteak. Well, I said to him, I said, hopefully, I said, I've been at Philadelphia. I know what a good Philly cheesesteak's like. It, is it a good Philly cheesesteak? Before you order it, does it compare to cheesesteaks in Philadelphia? And she come back and she said, our chef's American, and he's promised me it's one of the best Philly cheesesteaks you'll ever have. And when they served, it was like not even in the same league, no. not even close. No, it was. It was nothing like a Philly cheese. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. So obviously, the chef had been in Philadelphia. He was probably from like Las Vegas or somewhere mm, like that. Yeah. But but going on to the food. So you order your appetizers, which the appetizers way outweigh what we get over there for appetizers. Yeah. Um, and I get a lot of people talk about obesity in the USA and obesity over here, and we're trying to calm it down with the food portions and all that kind of stuff. So much food goes to waste, but. Once you've ordered your main course, there's, a, there's something that comes sometimes in between main course, appetizer and main course, or the actually you want one, which is a side salad. Yeah. So remember when we used to go to um, the Outback Steakhouse, for yeah. example, sometimes we used to swing by in there, yeah. and we'd have a side salad. And that side salad was probably the highlight of my dish, because it would come and it would have every bit of salad you, ingredient you can have in there that you'd expect in a salad. Yeah. Tomatoes, onions, cucumber, cucumber. lettuce. Just every just cruise had a lot, had everything you needed in there with a nice dressing. You go to a restaurant over here and get a side salad. You go to you go to a cafe over here, like yeah. a sandwich shop at somewhere you go for lunch and ask for a dressing. Yeah. And the only thing you're gonna get is what? Salad cream. Salad cream. <laughs> salad cream, mayonnaise. No, you get They're like not dressings. Bit, no, you get you, you get like a vinegar right now as well, but over there it's like yeah, listed. Yeah, it's, it's like Russian dressing, you know, ranch dressing, honey mustard, it's like ranch light. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know, list after list of yeah. just salad dressings. You had options for options and it's uh, for me that's something I I really miss about the USA and that's why when we go back it's always like I always get excited for the restaurants and stuff yeah. you, you get well looked after yeah. and well, we always look after the well, waiters what I liked about the side salad though it, it wasn't just lettuce, tomato onion, cucumber it was like chopped up with cranberries in there and pecans mm. yeah. and and you know stuff that you, every time you tasted it you tasted mm. something different it was a proper side salad Yeah. whereas over here you get like it's just lettuce it's like a tiny little <laughs> bowl about this big about, it's like yeah. grim lettuce looks got brown around the edges yeah it'd be like the size yeah. of a, a probably a cereal bowl mm. and then in the u.s it's like the size of a mixing bowl yeah yeah it's a proper uh it's a proper way of looking at things with yeah. the um with the restaurant side of it and then obviously they're not bad this time when the wine don't know, we've been into nice restaurants where they serve nice wines and what i like about someone who has who brings a nice wine over show you the bottle and this only happens in italian restaurants i've noticed over here all right, all right? but they show you the bottle what you've ordered yeah you check it's the right bottle that you've ordered, bottle the label, is, yeah. before they open it. The guy will stand there, he'll cut the top, 
put his pull the cork out. In the USA, what I noticed, good good uh, good servers and all that would smell the cork as well. Yeah. Make sure it's not you know there's no uh spoilage. No, no spoilage in there. So they smell the cork. You know, smell the wine a little bit maybe as well. They'll pour a little bit, swill it around for you and give it you to taste to make sure the wine's not off, right? Yeah. Or the wine's not that gone bad. In the UK it's kinda like they just go Look good. Do you wanna try it? I'm gonna go. Go on then. I'll try put it down. That's fine. All right. How many glasses? <laughs> I'm like, mate, this should have been two minutes ago, yeah. five minutes ago. Yeah. Just pour it and leave it there, yeah. you know. And it's uh, and I kind of like lose patience very easily. I think the difference as well is in America, they know what they're smelling for. They yeah. know what it's supposed to taste like. They're trained. Here, yeah. if you if you went, no, they say you don't like it. If you said it's spoiled, they wouldn't know. Mm. They wouldn't go, you're right. Some do. The Italian restaurants do. Mm. The Italian restaurant we go in definitely would know, 100% you'd know, because I've spoken to him about the wine, and he's a sommelier, and the wine place we go into, he's a sommelier, and he yeah, knows. Yeah, I, I agree yeah. with that one, the he wine place. He would 100% know. Yeah. I'm not sure whether most of the, the restaurants would know. The one we go into, the Italian we go into in our house, they yeah. 100% know. Oh, okay. Yeah. They all know there, and it's because uh, they're all Italian. Yeah. They're all they're all live, live there on vineyards just all because, the way. Yeah, but just because they're no, Italian doesn't mean No, that... but I know they know. Okay. I can tell. You just know. But... You know, then going on to you know your desserts, obviously. Um, over here, we get in a good restaurant. You get a choice of about if it's five. Four, I was going to say four to six. Yeah, four, five, six desserts, and it's yeah. always the same stuff that's been in the fridge for a week. You, you get normal, and we mainly eat at Italian places. Mm. So you would get like a tiramisu. You'd get um, presbyterols. Yeah, you wouldn't get a nice cannoli cake or. Cannolis, cannolis. Take, yeah. yeah, cannolis take a while to make, so mm. they don't normally make them because they're going to spoil if nobody yeah. orders them. And a lot of people over here don't know what they are. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, specialty restaurants we have to go to. That's a bit spoiled on my behalf. I yeah, think. that's me being a little bit petulant yeah. and so on, saying you don't do that and you're Italian. Yeah. Whereas I get kind of get not many people order it over here. Everybody knows. And I know, tiramisu and I know some restaurants do make it, especially for us when we go in. If they know, know you come in, if they yeah. know we're coming in, they'll make it's, it for it's us. It's not yeah. going to spoil yeah. that. But I don't know. With in the USA, you get so much choice to sort of like choose from, um, where I think it's it's just a little bit more. I think there's a bigger, adventurous. I would say. Yeah, yeah there's a, a bit more, bit more risk. I think there's a bit more risk as well with American restaurants or US based restaurants. There's a bit more risk of what, what what they can sell and what they can't sell. Maybe the markup's bigger on the USA. They make you know, a lot of cakes as well, like angel cake yeah. and hmm. marble cake. Yeah, as we don't really have that over here. It's kind of shop bar over here, I always think, in a lot of the restaurants. Mm, yeah. Mm. I, I, we don't, I mean, like trifle. No. You, you don't see trifle now. In the 70s, yeah. they would make like little individual yeah. trifles. Yeah. Or yeah. a lot more, I think a lot of people, mm. a lot of people are more healthy now. They just don't have a dessert. Yeah, but then going you don't back. don't ice cream. Then sort of like moving on, going back to what you were saying before about um, the tipping culture. You know, in the USA, we always tipped minimum 20%, yeah. didn't we? Um, whatever it was, it was 20%. Just easy easy to calculate do it 20 percent. let's go yeah. and we're off yeah sort of thing and everyone was happy with that we were happy if we got a decent service yeah and the uh the, the waiter or the waitresses were happy um and we had a lot of friends who yeah, come, yeah. come our friends who were, who, yeah. were, who were servers and waitresses in the uk i'm not sure if they're happy or unhappy with what they get well, and a lot of restaurants don't give them it and i've no yeah and i've noticed now that they put a discretionary that's what i'm saying it's all on, on the bottom everyone does it now everyone does it nobody really tips over everyone yeah. does it and it's usually anywhere between and you have the option I've to had, take that off yeah i've had probably as low as seven percent and as high as 15 percent. yeah and i think the average what i normally see is anywhere between 10 and 15 percent yeah it's usually hovering around about 12 and a half percent mark or 12 percent mark yeah um which i'm happy to do i'm like yeah. that's fine some some cases I'm thinking you're doing yourself out of money, mate. If you yeah. want to add that, if you want to add that on, and I've had an all right service, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah. And they don't even give you a chance anyway when you take when they take the card, when you pay. There's no option to add anything. Yeah. And if you don't carry cash, then yeah, you can't really subsidise it. No. It's just there. Go. Yeah. Put it in and away you go. Finished. Mm. Yeah. Sort of thing, but you know it's uh it is changing in the UK for the good. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's changed a lot over the last twenty years. <laughs> We're losing a lot of pubs um, that yeah. are turning into more bars, res- bar restaurant type places yeah. to sort of like suit suit the family. Yeah. Because I remember when I was a kid, we didn't go out anywhere to eat. No. It was just uh, it was just there was no restaurant. No, the only only the rich went out to eat at restaurants. And also, it didn't cater for children. No. Like no. you know, when we were children, we did we didn't quite. It was like no, be it's a special. Yeah. 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 You, you know, children were supposed to be seen and not heard. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we moved to America, and everybody took the children out, mm. and you'd be like, 
who's got the children in a restaurant at nine o'clock? And then when you have children, you're like, oh, it's midnight, and they're, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, that's our take, I think, on restaurants in the... Mm. Uh, and even when you finish in the UK, uh, in the USA, in the UK, they're kind of like shooing you out the door. Whereas I found in the USA, they come over with a complimentary sort of like... Um, uh, dessert wine or you know um, a shot or something yeah. and then they'll say do you want to take more do you want a glass of wine at the bar yeah. and you go and sit at a bar sometimes or do you, want, do you want coffee and you sit around and you can sit around sometimes it's, I remember Mike and Baccio used to stay till like 2 in the morning me and yeah. used to sit there till 2 in the morning drinking you know coffee and wine yeah. or whatever yeah. and he used to come out and pull a chair up and talk with us for yeah. a bit but that's nice you know, yeah. you know they've cleaned the kitchen up and they, yeah. they're they ready to go home but mm. they're not ready to go to bed yeah. they want to you know mellow yeah. and so it's nice mm that we had no children at the time and we'd just sit there and drink. Yeah, yeah. So we'd sit there and have a few uh, mm. few glasses of wine. But that was, uh, like I say, it's probably me being spoiled a lot of it um, from what I'm used to, for what we see over there that can be achieved over here, that's yeah. not achieved over here for whatever reason. It just need training. Yeah, I don't think, I think they need people who want to work first. But yeah. Overall though, um, restaurant-wise, America or UK? Oh, definitely America, yeah, 100%. Think, yeah, it's, yeah it's, not, it's, not, it's not even a competition, is no, it, really? No, And it's, uh, it's one of the things that when we go about, we always comment on it when we go in the yeah. restaurants. Even the steaks. Yeah, like, proper I steaks. Love, I love they? steaks, but yeah. here, you just, they're just grim. Yeah, Unless you are. go to a high-end steakhouse, and, then, you, and then you're paying a fortune. But even then, they're not. You, know, you can go to a low-end steakhouse in the USA and get a better steak than a high-end steakhouse in the UK. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, well, if you remember, Fozzie was excited over his London broil. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's it's one of them. It's just it's it's a, it's a no contest for me. Mm. But we will be doing the um, we will be doing a series of these if you want us to. Obviously, um, we'll tell by the uh, the likes and the and yeah. comments, and if people subscribe. Um, but we'll be doing. If, let us know on a subject you want us to touch on as well. If you've got one in the comments, um, but we'll be doing things like everything from buying a car, from kids to go into the schools, uh, from uh, you know, uh, the, jobs. the diners, jobs, diners, driving. Filling up with gasoline. That's it. Mine, mine, what I want to touch on is breakfast. Breakfast, yeah. We can talk about that in the diners. But yeah, just leave us in the comments what you want us to, uh, what you want us to discuss and we'll, uh, we'll do it. Uh, yeah. We'll run a series every week. Yeah. 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 Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.